Well, good morning from North Texas. Yeah, we're back to work. Except, uh, my work van is in the shop. So, uh, I'm working out of my pickup. So, anyway, uh, it's 10 15, 50 degrees, cloudy. I think we got a chance of rain pretty much all week. But what I have uh, heard and now have witnessed. I guess Academy has decided that if they're gonna be the only place that's got ammo, they're gonna make money on it. Good money on it. So, uh, I'd heard this, didn't, uh, uh, that's not 100% true. I, I did notice last week, week before last, that the white Winchester box of 5.56 and a 20 round box, eh, it used to be five, six dollars, seven dollars. It went to ten ninety nine, and you know why not? Uh, like I said, that you got people lined up to get in to buy it, and so uh, anyway, uh, today I popped in and checked one. That that same box is now eleven ninety nine. So hey, I know it's just a dollar, but when you sell a thousand of them, that's thousand dollars. Uh, they had a little bit of 22 CCI standard velocity, which I like, and it's 4.99 per 50. So that means it's over ten dollars a hundred, ten cents a round. Uh, yeah, that's went up a little bit too. They had some Aguila, is how I say it. It's made in Mexico. Uh, good stuff. It was three ninety nine, two ninety nine. $2.99? Yeah, $2.99 a 50 round box. So you're $6 a hundred, so you're at six cents a round. Uh, that stuff used to be $1.99 all day long. So anyway, uh, they had a little bit on the shelf. Had some 308, had some 68. Uh, I guess someone had too much, and they walked back there with two boxes of nine millimeter hollow points. I believe they were hydra shocks i can't remember anyway now so it's 20 round box of nine millimeter hollow points are you ready 29 dollars 30 bucks for the same box that they sold six months ago for 14 or 15.99 so they're on it they're they're understanding all those people standing in line buying the stuff doubling the price and tripling the price, whatever. Uh, so, uh, you know, Academy has had ammo through this whole thing more than just about anybody else. And I guess they finally decided, forget it. Uh, we got it, we're gonna make money on it. It's the American way. So, anyhow. Now, like I said, that was after 10 o'clock. The rush was gone, so there was no nine millimeter. There was no, and no nine millimeter other than those two boxes of hollow points, uh, which a gentleman was looking at when I left. And, uh, I'm, I'm not to the point that I'm willing to pay $30 for 20 rounds of nine millimeter hollow point. I'll load my own long before there. Matter of fact, I've, I've already loaded 300 rounds, so uh, I've just stopped because I'm not loading anymore until I get my hands on some more small pistol primers. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, here we are 2021 and things haven't changed much from 2020. If anything, I think it's actually gotten worse uh, on the ammo front. Uh, I did uh, get some handguns in, which is a good thing. Uh, the bad thing is, is there's not really any gun shows around this area in January that I really want to do. Uh, there's one a little bit out of town, but I've got a prior commitment the next Sunday to be available, so I would really like to go do that one. It's about an hour southwest of Dallas. Uh, actually, I guess you'd say it's more south of Fort Worth. But anyway, I'd like to go do it, but like I said, I've got commitments, so we're gonna honor that. Uh, ammo though, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the deal is, and you, and you say and think what you want about those guys who are just ripping people's heads off. They're not replacing much of what they sold. Uh, 
I know every round that I bought to replace what I did sell starting last summer has cost me almost twice what I, I paid for the other stuff and or, in other words, didn't make much profit. Uh, by the time you pay for all that stuff, or, or sorry, reorder the stuff that you sold and did real good on, you didn't do real good on because all that money's going to whomever you're buying it from. So anyway, uh, yeah, we, we made a little money uh, during the summer and, well, the last quarter. So, uh, but it's all went right back in supplies. So, you know, uh, it still seems to go out much easier than it comes in. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, just a little more up, upgrade on the uh, Academy front. Uh, yeah, they occasionally have ammo, but you're definitely going to pay a lot more for it uh, if they have it. And it looks to be that if you want to buy any bulk 9 or 223, 556, five, whatever, uh, if you have any bulk size, then you're going to have to get in line and get in line early. So, uh, I think the other day I drove, well, the other day, last week, I drove past one of the academies an hour before it was open and loosely counted 20 to 25 people. All right, depending on the store, if they allow th two or three items per person, you're not going to get any nine or, or, or 223, 556. Five, it's it's going to be long gone before then. So, anyway. Uh, on the loading front, hey, if you can find the components, get after it. I mean, that's what I've been doing. I've been cranking out the blackout, but uh, uh, kind of throttle it back a little bit. I'm down to about my last 500 projectiles uh, that were relatively inexpensive, and I use that term loosely, relatively inexpensive. They were twice what I used to pay. Uh, luckily, uh, I bought almost 2,000 rounds of brass uh, in the spring uh, from a uh, ammo manufacturer so it's it's brand new 300 blackout brass but it's converted from military 223 so there you go but however you want to word it but uh, I got a pretty good price on that uh, now uh, you're, you're gonna be at the 50 to 60 cents around in cost just to load it and that's if you got primers. Luckily, I do have small rifle primers in abundance because I bought them for a long time, being, you know, a 222, 223s, a lot of stuff I've shot that takes small rifles. I've always bought a thousand at a time. So, anyway, all I'm gonna say is 2021, the weirdness continues. Uh, ammo manufacturers swear up and down on the Quran or the Bible or whatever they believe in uh, that they're producing as much ammo as they can produce but it, it ain't making it to us uh, it's not making it retail let's put it that way which I know a lot of it is contracts and pre-ordered and blah 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 it's always been that way uh, kind of like the the magpul stuff we used to get we always kind of got leftovers we we got what was available. So, anyway, uh, I don't foresee the new president doing anything to help us. If anything, I think it's probably going to get worse. Uh, you know, the, is it the calm before the storm, or is it, uh, you know, is it going to get better after? step back a little bit I, I don't know I, I don't know I'm, I am going to say let's prepare for the worst and hope for the best that's probably gonna be our best motto keep your powder dry if you can load I'd say load if you can afford to pay some of these prices I'd say go ahead and buy a little I'm not gonna say you know don't don't get into your Dave Ramsey or your honey hole, rat hole money, what we used to call it. Uh, reserves, I wouldn't get into that. But, I don't know. When, when re 
retail shops are getting six to ten cents a round retail for 22 it's not good anyway y'all have a great one see you.